So we've already done the oxidizing property, reducing uh, oxidizing agent properties, reducing agent properties, acidic uh, oxides as well as neutral oxides. So let us come and learn one more important reaction which is related to the structure of carbon monoxide that is a reaction with metal carbonyls. The main aim for, this, as, for us to learn this is this particular reaction explains the structure. Till now we have studied the nature of carbon monoxide. Now this is going to explain the structure. So basically when I write the structure of carbon monoxide, structure of carbon monoxide it is like c triple bond o so one two three four five <coughs> correct so one one two three four five six seven eight so octet finish is completed six and seven eight now these are your lone pair of electrons correct and this is your sigma bond and this is your pi bond two pi bonds now what happens is because of this lone pair of electrons yes on carbonyl compound this particular carbonyl compound <coughs> it starts donating its electrons to a metal atom that metal atom has a vacant orbital present in it this type of bond formed between a metal atom and a carbonyl group is called metal carbonyl uh, they combine to form metal carbonyls metal carbonyls and the type of bond formed is called coordinate covalent bond coordinate covalent bond or it is called dative bond dative bond yes fine so now because we with this concept i'm going to use or take this carbon monoxide and add it to a metal atom nickel so together as i said it's going to donate its its electrons to the metal orbital which which has a vacant orbital yes present in its uh, subshell so it together forms nickel put a square bracket so this is called coordinate covalent bond formation these are called coordinate covalent compounds let us write coordinate covalent compounds and the bond formed is called dative bond or coordinate covalent bond yes now <coughs> uh, suppose if i take platinum one more metal atom i'm going to introduce how many carbon carbonyls are there four right how do i name this tetracarbonyl nickelate complex we call it as tetracarbonyl nickelate complex now suppose <coughs> if i take platinum i'm going to take this again it's going to form a carbonyl complex platinum carbonyl group five ligands five are donated on on the sides of platinum so we're going to pentacarbonate yes platinum complex and we we'll calculate the oxidation number so how many five so this is how it's going to donate its lone pair of electrons this is related to the structure so it's very important reaction please note this reaction again a coordinate covalent complex form pentacarbonyl platinum complex and calculate the oxidation number yes now after this uh, metal carbon so what how do i name this this is reaction with metal carbonyls okay done so I, I, we have noted this and let us come back and do the last chemical property uh, as we have done oxidation oxidizing property reducing acidic oxide metal carbonyl reactions now important one more important reaction reaction with or reaction in the presence of sunlight so with this we have completed all the reactions very important reactions have dealt with so so again let us divide this page you have carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide a reaction in the presence of sunlight reaction in the presence of sunlight yes now this is also the same same heading so when we are writing reactions in the presence of sunlight observe carefully your know, carbon monoxide i said it is poisonous or toxic in nature so what does it do your carbon monoxide will combine with chlorine present in the atmosphere which exists as free radical cl and cl free radicals yes this occurs or this reaction occurs in the presence of sunlight and this when combines with chlorine uh, chlorine atom it forms a compound called phosgene that is cocl2 a very famous question this is in grade 12 also they have phosgene so what is this phosgene is also poisonous in nature so what happens it if this concentration of phosgene is less than 
2 ppm parts per million to 3 ppm not a problem it means problem means you will just have eye irritation eye irritation but if this concentration increases more than that if if this is more than that greater than 2 ppm or greater than 3 ppm a condition called non cardiogenic pulmonary edema that means there is non cardiogenic pulmonary edema is then accumulation of fluid in the lungs this causes this phosgene inhalation it causes accumulation of fluid in the lungs and that condition is called non pulmonary i have to write pulmonary pulmonary edema edema is accumulation of fluid in the lungs so yes that is the main um, your uh, effects of phosgene now what happens when i take carbon dioxide when it's combining with it's going to combine with water yes hope you would have seen this reaction somewhere so this occurs in the presence of sunlight and using chlorophyll pigment by the plants yes very well know this reaction this type of reaction the carbon dioxide six carbon dioxide combining with six water molecule in the presence of sunlight using chlorophyll prepares a food a food reserve for plants what is that glucose c6 h12o6 plus six carb oxygen so this is your reserve food or food for your plants this whole reaction is called what it is called photosynthesis reaction photosynthesis reaction so just observe carbon monoxide in the presence of sunlight it combines and forms phosgene a poisonous gas but the same this carbon dioxide it combines with water forming <coughs> or reserve food for all the plants around us so this is your photosynthesis reaction this is your uh, poisonous uh, release of gas phosgene gas so the main reason for me giving together is you will have a comparative study between both